Yo, what is going on guys? It's Dimkly here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be releasing my render and recording settings for OBS and Sony Vegas and if you want clean renders like these, make sure to keep watching and let's get straight into the video. I use OBS Studio to record so if you guys don't have it already, make sure to download it in the description. Download the latest version for whatever software you use and yeah. Once you download OBS, it should look like this and it might not have this dock up here, so you want to go to view, docs, and stats. And what stats does is it basically gives you like extra stuff to like to moderate your recording, I guess. So it'll show you like skip frames, how big your thing will be, and yeah, it just gives you a lot more information. So let's go into the settings, output, and recording, and here are my recording settings. Voila. So we go to advanced, OBS recordings, MP4. Nothing has really changed from the last one besides my CQ level and video on how I record. So I use MP4, NVENC, and <laughs> NVENC, NVENC H264 new. So if you have the new version, make sure to select that. Uh, 1920 by 1080. And then I use CQP. And I'm pretty sure if you use CBR, you use like 100,000, but I use CQ level. And the lower the number is, the higher the quality quality will be so if you have it at like 12 then your file size will be like massive but the quality will look better but 17 is enough and it's like pretty close to 15 anyways and it helps your recording anyway so i use max performance and i use high i know a lot of people use max quality but i like max performance and then i have this at zero and this at two i'm not sure why it's at two but you know, it works for me. For video, I use 1920 by 1080 by linear, fast display of scaling, and 240. So it gives nice motion blur. And let's get into the renders. All right, so I'll go through everything in Vegas as well. So the timeline settings and the render settings. So to go to project video settings, you go here on the little uh, settings thing. And here they are. So I don't know what any of these mean beside the frame rate, which when you drag in your clip, you have to put yes to match the frame rate, and it'll come up right here. And I know these three are really important. So smart resample, Gaussian blur. You can also use boxed, but I use Gaussian and render quality best. So yeah, just copy these settings and you should be good. All right, for render settings, I use Magic AVC MP4. And if you don't have a template right now, you just go to any one of these templates with NVIDIA and Venk. So you have like the encoder for NVIDIA graphics cards and you select that. But I already have my settings, so just copy these down and here they are. All right, here are my settings and these are basically just really high settings for everything. So we have profile high, uh, 60 FPS, then the highest bit rate you can possibly do. NV encoder, uh, high quality and VBR and yeah that's basically the video tab all right for audio we go here and we have 48,000 and 38.4 i'm not sure what this means but i'm pretty sure it should match with your audio settings to your mic and in obs so system we have i don't know what this is but yeah just keep it like that and for project this is really important you have to use best render quality and use your project setting, so that's the setting things. And the color space is default, but you can color grade it with whatever you like. And yeah, that's basically my render settings. If you guys used my renders or the recording settings and you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I'll leave a couple more duels clips at the end. So yeah, see ya and peace.